Yeah, there you go, perfect. It's a dark, cold world out there. There's a time to live and a time for a man to die. There are places for dead men in the earth and the sky. Don't you venture too far now, cause you can't come back. From the place where the good guys always dress in black. Hello everybody out there and welcome to another edition of Ring Respect Radio right here on the Video Bros Network. I am Bobby Money Munson. To my right, you know him as the man with the angelic voice. He is Papa Smokes and we have two very special guests here with us today. We have got Cannonball Kelly and Johnny Two Fingers. The two very guys are going to be down there ringside on May 28th for the championship match. One of you down ringside, one of you in the match itself. It is going to be excited. The championship finally on the line in a ladder match against Sheik Akbar Shabazz. First of all, Gentlemen, thank you for joining us on the show here today. It's good to be here. It's good to be live. We're in the show, baby. Yeah. Oh, thanks <laughs> for having us, baby. Well, we appreciate you guys taking the time. We wanted to take some time to just talk about and promote the match coming up. May 28th, it is the finals of the championship tournament. It has been a long time coming. Uh, first of all, just to give people a little bit of a background, this tournament Kelly, you were involved, uh, eliminated originally by Mike McSugar, but due to a draw that was made at the last PPW show, you got yourself back in. Redemption against Mike McSugar, and now you are in that final matchup going for the championship. How did it feel, first of all, to get that redemption in the last match? Uh, when I heard there was a draw, I was just sitting in the back. I was actually waiting to take care of some uh, Levi Knight business. So when my name got pulled out of the hat, my whole night went a whole different direction. So I uh, got a awesome. chance to beat up Mike McSugar, and I've been doing that for years. Let's be honest. <laughs> it's one of your favorite fights. things to do. Yeah, so <laughs> it felt really good to get his shoulder to the mat, and knowing that I'm going to be in the very first Prairie Pro Wrestling Championship match. That's right, baby. I've never been in the ladder match. That's insane. It's uh, going to be absolute chaos, I'm sure of it. Uh, we saw the chaos started on ball. In fact, we're going to talk about Levi Knight in a minute here, but the chaos unfolded at the end of the last show. You had just become... We don't have to do that. Become... Don't have to do that. <laughs> well, of course we don't. I mean, we're not going to give him many kudos anyway. But uh, the end of the last show there, after you had been victorious, celebrating the opportunity to get into the final, and an attack from your competitor on May 28th, Sheik Akbar Shabazz, uh, had you laid out... Uh, how, how did that make you feel? How concerned are you going into this matchup? How are you feeling after that attack? Um, me and Sheik Shabazz, we kind of got a history. We've wrestled twice before in Prairie Pro Wrestling, and he's pretty underhanded. He's he's a bit slimy, but he's a big boy. He hits pretty hard. And um, the last two times, it didn't quite go my way, but now... Since he decided to attack me, he actually threw the ladder in my face. I don't know if you can tell I'm missing teeth because of that. Yeah. So my specialty has always kind of been not really regular matches, hardcore matches, street fights, bunkhouse brawls. So I'm giving, I get permission to have a weapon. Johnny Two Fingers. And what's going to happen when I have a weapon? Oh, well, probably not very good things at all. Actually, he's, He's a very violent guy. He's kind of sadistic. I got he really, Arnie Anderson glasses. He, 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 he really <laughs> Anderson glasses. That's the most. <laughs> yeah, he really like. He really see. He likes to. He enjoys making other people suffer. He's really good at. I got Stan Hansen because eyes. of it. Yes, okay. yeah. club him. Yeah. Yeah. And then you give <laughs> I, him an, I'm an, an opportunity with no rules and all he has to do is pummel a guy. Just make them laying out there. And especially ever since you got here, Kelly, but let's be honest, ever since we got into PPW, things never really went our way. But this is a story about redemption because he gets his name after already losing to get back into the tournament yes. to take out Mick Sugar, to get back in the race. Ooh. That's right, Kelly. And when I climbed that ladder after Sheik's bloodied, we grab the belt, yeah. and we become the first ever. First ever. First, first ever. <laughs> That's PPW right. PPW champion. May 28th. That's going to be fantastic. <laughs> May 28th is going to be a hell of a night. That's right. 
It really is. Papa Smokes, I know you're itching to get in on this conversation. What kind of questions you got for us? Well, it's the Papa Smokes. Oh, yeah, yeah, guys. <laughs> Thanks again for coming on this podcast. It's a pleasure to have you. Pleasure. I had a question for Johnny Two Fingers. Uh, we've seen you uh, insert yourself physically in some matches before in the past with, with varying degrees <laughs> of success. Is that part of your game plan coming into the PPW Championship match? Well, uh, I, I don't. Uh, I just like to. St I'm just uh, basically there for moral support. <laughs> Insert myself. That's a very dirty word. I wouldn't do anything like that. <laughs> yeah, come on, Papa come folks. On, it's not a, a dirty show now, is it? Isn't it? <laughs> I, uh, I, plead I said what I said. I, uh, I plead <laughs> uh, I plead yeah. How dare you say shit like that, Papa Smokes? There's kids listening. <laughs> yeah, that's completely yeah, what I meant. Come on. Uh, Papa Smokes, what else you got for us? So come you're on. not going to insert yourself, okay? <laughs> no, so I, I needed to know. No way, no way. <laughs> I would never do it. Like <laughs> but but you know, to, but to touch on that, okay, that comes back to the whole question of Levi Knight. We know that Levi Knight has been with Great Pro Wrestling for quite some time. First of all, Johnny, I, I was up close and personal for that chair shot that he gave to you in the oh. one show. And I got to say, man, you have got the toughest noggin in all of professional wrestling today and maybe the world because I have never seen a chair shot quite like that and just have someone live to tell the story. Do you, do you it remember was brutal. when Levi Knight couldn't beat me, so he cheated to take me down and then bludgeoned you with a chair? Uh, yeah, yeah. So, I, you know, I, yeah. I and actually, then I hit him back with a chair? And I get disqualified? It, that makes no sense. See, it was everything was all. against us. Ugh. But, yeah, I don't know. I can't really afford Benny to lose any. Dude, I can't afford to lose any. Benny hops in my match the next month. Like, I was really prepared to get some Levi Knight business done. But if you get better business on top of the shit business you had to do with Levi Knight, then That's right. ladder match, yeah. baby. Levi Knight, take a hike. Go it it else, doesn't be go dancing to someone else's heart. Oh, yeah. God. Oh. Does it, or my does it become a slight like concern, that. though? A slight concern going into this matchup, being that this is a ladder match. There's no disqualifications, no rules. Is Levi Knight a concern going into this for you? Is he lurking in the background, waiting for an opportunity to steal well, this away from you? I didn't think so until you brought it up there, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> well, Here I go, ruining the night. <laughs> And I might have pleaded the fifth earlier, but maybe I, I got something in my back pocket, or maybe I don't. But if Levi Knight decides to stick his nose in that match, yeah, I'm just going to make the rest of his life a living hell. So Yeah, I wouldn't really recommend doing that. That's Levi Knight's choice. Stay out of my business, or really get in my business. What is it like, fuck around fuck around pretty soon you won't be around yeah nah, goes. don't fuck around <laughs> yeah stay the fuck out of my ladder man. oh yeah that right family now. show thing yeah sorry but he did oh, promise fuck the family show <laughs> stay the head dolly jar darn jam out of our match today levi knight you piece of shit come on kelly I'm sorry <laughs> Well, he's a piece of something, that's for sure. Papa folks, I see you chuckling over there. I see you chuckling. You got something on your mind. I know you do. What do you got? Yeah, well, I get to I beat him up should... in like three different promotions yeah, monthly. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's old hat. Beating up Levi Knight is old hat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, see, Papa Smokes, the yeah. forum is yours. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Sure, sure. <laughs> I, I was just thinking about Sheik Akbar, Shabazz, a, a big guy, a violent guy. Quite underhanded, like you mentioned before. A strong guy. Very much so. And uh, what do you have uh, planned to overcome some of this? Uh, he's going to be a tough challenge in the ring, and uh, he he uh, has big blunt matches force sometimes. Trauma. I'm going to bring yeah. blunt force trauma. Blunt That's, force trauma. That's what I'm bringing to Sheik Shabazz. Mm. I get a weapon. It's a ladder. Were you allowed to use a ladder? Allowed. I'm going to hit him a lot with that ladder. I might fly off that ladder. I might use it as a weapon. I'm like Mick Foley where I'm not so high flying but high impact. So you should buy a ticket to watch me 
high impact all dude, over Dude, the Sheik. stuff you're going to do to Sheik. <laughs> See what I did there? The dude, the stuff that you're going to do to Sheik will be, con- if it wasn't inside a wrestling ring, it would be considered assault. Yeah, like I should be arrested for assault and battery yeah. May 20th. Yeah. Probably <laughs> at about 11 o'clock. Yeah. Call me. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, yeah. But instead, we're going to take everybody's money so they can sit ringside and watch the assault take place in person, and it's going to be fantastic. Yeah, it, if you want to see pure, unadulterated <laughs> violence, that's the one. Well, it's I can't. Be good. I can't. I can't. That's the one. That's the one. That is the no, one. You I'm, got it. I got this. Baby. I'm not going to kill Sheik Shabazz, but I might get charged with <laughs> something similar. What? Don't say. <laughs> don't say. Keep like Yeah. 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 He's, 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 he's no one. He might not better stay the shit out of that match. <laughs> that, that's true. Well, that is accurate. Very true. Well, at least he gets to see this beforehand, so he knows to stay the fuck away that night. That's what it comes down. Yeah, to. thank you. Yes, exactly. If he, <laughs> oh, uh, don't, don't. Next not, question. Yeah, next. Let's talk about something actually cool. Okay, well, how about we talk about the fans down at Ringside? PPW fans packed that arena every single time. You're a, both true. of you massive fan favorites with the crowd and everything like that. How much do you feed off of that energy? How much does that drive you forward in these matchups? Well, here's a personal story. When I teamed okay. with the Romantics about 10 years ago, I took a sabbatical. I came back in like 2014, 15, and I didn't think nothing of it. I get into the ring, and all of a sudden, like the whole building in Saskatoon is chatting, like, welcome back, welcome back. I'm like, whoa. And then I'm like, whoa, they didn't need to do that. That's pretty cool. And I like actually like, so like every time I'm in Saskatoon, I'm just. Clubbing people for them, smashing them for them. When I lose, it sucks, but I hope they know that, uh, as Foley said and beyond the mat, I do it for the sake of history. For the you people, know, like, for the people. For the and people. if I could win that first oh, title gosh. for the PPW fans, that's a cherry thing. on top, baby. That's a beautiful thing. Cherry on top, yeah. PPW awesome. fans are great. I yeah. dig them. We, we dig them as well, too, and we're looking forward to having them there. Uh, Papa Smokes, I'm going to turn it over to you. Any other questions that we can ask, and then we can go off into some other general questions. Yeah, I was thinking about uh, the PPW title and the, the first time it's being held up. We've been a company for a few years now, but with COVID and all that stuff, all the postponements and no live wrestling for two years, it was such a drag. What will it mean to you personally and professionally, career-wise, to be the first holder of the PPW belt if you should win the ladder match? It'd probably be the top moment of my wrestling career, and it's been going on a while, so. It's big stakes. It's it's big money, it's big stakes, and I, I want to hold that belt. And I, I will go through hell to have that belt. Sure. And anybody that's ever seen me in a street fight, anywhere, plenty of knows times. that I'm pretty okay with, uh, how would you word it, Johnny? What am I okay um, with? Getting hurt and getting back up again, taking punishment, <laughs> and just to give it out. You like to hurt people. It makes you feel good. And then you got all the fans of Saskatoon chanting your name. Cannonball! 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 Yes, Kelly! <laughs> You're born for no. it. You're born for this. I'm so ready for yeah. this. I'm ready for May 28th. Why is it a month away? It seems a little too far away already, for sure. Uh, steer away just from away from the ring for a minute, guys. We got you here. Might as well. Hey, you guys known for being in the music world. Big music fan myself. I just thought... Hey, why don't we chat about music for a little while? Uh, talk to our fans right now a little bit about Johnny Two Fingers and the deformities. Yeah, represent. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, or, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey. on sale. At, you say the words. No, oh, oh, JohnnyTwoFingers.com <laughs> on sale. That's the one. Get them while they're hot. Get them while they're present at Windling. You got it. So, good, good. good. Oh, go, there. Go, yeah. Yeah. Freeze it up a bit. Yep, yep, yep. Go, Johnny's go, kid go, will be watching <laughs> Ghostbusters while we do this. Oh, yeah. she asked if she sweet. Can watch, them, like, watch three more. I don't care. Yeah, can't go wrong with watching Ghostbusters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Go watch it. <laughs> We're busy. 
I'm adulting so, right now. So, can you tell? <laughs> well, we played our oh, of course. Gig recently at O'Hanlon's in Regina, and that was like the first time we played, played in like two years. What was that? O'Hanlon's? Yeah. Yeah. April 1st. Ain't no joke. April Fools. Uh uh-uh. uh. It was a real thing. It was great. Yeah. So, how long have you guys been doing the music for? Uh, 2009, 10? Dude, eight? It's been like 11 years. It's a while. Yeah, something like yeah, that. Uh, yeah, to 2011, like, like or so. Him and, yeah. him and I, he's my right hand man. I've went through, he can't I went through countless, stuff. countless he bass players. I went through wives. But you know anything. what? This guy, this guy, anything. this guy. Nothing, you can't carry a thing. By my side. <laughs> Great guitar player. Great drummer. Amazing singer. Hell of a man. He can't carry anything. Uh, and you know what? He's the I, He's really got to carry in stuff. It's part of his wrestling training. It helps training. for the T-bones and the spine yeah. It is. It's incredible. Yeah, it adds up. Yeah. Positive outlook. <laughs> yeah. He can't carry anything. <laughs> <laughs> so hey, so on. I got to ask next. Sweet it, I, I'm game? not even going to say. I'm not even going to say if. When you win the Prairie Pro Wrestling Championship. Is there going to be a new, brand new song to be given to commemorate the moment? Oh. Well, almost certainly, right? That makes sense to me. We'd have to think of a song. Oh, wait. We'll have to think of a song. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Well, if you've been on your Instagram and watched it, you've heard. No, listen. Like, Mm. we'd be, like, once the moment, you'd feel it. You oh. feel the you feel that emotion, and then you write it. I'm an artist. Well, we can't guy. I know how to do that. I do I that all the time. Wrote. I write songs all the time. I make a song about that. Make a song about this moment with me and you right now. I love it. I love it. Yeah. Yeah. Rock on right now. <laughs> oh, Bob Smokes, I'm turning it back to you. I know you're itching to get back in on this, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, um. Oh, Bob Smokes. Oh, Bob Smokes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's fucking brilliant, right there! <laughs> this song has promise. I like yeah. this one. We keep, made keep going Josh with that one. Kelly song in the works. Pleading in the works. fifth again, again. It was a, it's a theme it's song. Uh, what are some of the venues you guys have played around Saskatoon? I know there's oh. some good uh, rock clubs. We did. We played the Capitol. The Black Cat, yeah, the Migos. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We listed them all. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> pretty much. That might be all that's uh, left here in Saskatoon at this point. Oh, no, that adds up to like seven, eight, nine. Beg your pardon? Oh, I was just saying that's probably all we have left here in Saskatoon. Everything's shut down just about over the years. There yeah. used to be a lot more rock venues once upon a time. Black Cat, it's like thirty times we played the Black Cat. Maybe like five for Amigos. What was the other one? I don't know. Cool. <laughs> I don't keep track oh, of that. We played, it, man. we played Buds with a pack. Oh, AD. There we go. Yeah, okay. Yeah. 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 Awesome. yeah. Check out Pack AD. They're like Buds Jam. They're bro. like two. Bud two, Jam. Two, Blues Jam. Just, just two check. Come Damn on. Drum and bass. Guitar. Drums and guitar. See, it's distracting when people talk when you're talking, isn't it? Yeah, I don't yeah. know how to podcast. <laughs> That's awesome. Bob Smokes, I'm turning it back over to you. I, you got to have more questions, I'm sure. Oh, there's got to yeah, be more. There's got to be more. <laughs> um, what has it been like uh, since I've been watching uh, you cannonball wrestle since the old HIW days? I'm going to guess I started going in 2011 or 12. You used to do some tag team work with uh, the Dixie Dragon. And uh, any thoughts of ever uh, putting a tag team together anymore? Hmm. That's an interesting question, John Dale. Mm. Hmm. Well, inside, I don't know if I'm feeling the synergy to really bring out a tag team in PPW specifically. Mm. There's not really anybody currently. Nah, PPW, nope, I'm pretty all for just... Well, unless something no. was to offer. <laughs> no, no, I don't think so. The synergy isn't right there. I don't think. I don't think so. <laughs> not really much of a tag scene here, unfortunately. Just not Although yet, I, anyway. I, I, I'm like, I think I'm like probably like, I've held like 
eight different tag titles with eight different guys. So I might be like tag team specialist. Who, a serial tag team. <laughs> someone I have. A t- I, There's Clark. I have a team with Clark. I'm just going to throw big names so they book me heavy. There's Clark. I, th- I think you've got Clark. the toughest tag team partner what sitting right beside you right there. Right, big sugar uh, team with Clark. Big sugar team with me. I've never teamed with Clark. You threw it out there. What would <laughs> the what, an answer? It feels sustainable to your question. <laughs> what would the team name be if it was you and Clark? Oh, that's too good. Like, oh, that's a lot uh, of names. I, I, I got to I got to take this one. Hold on, it's got to it it's got to be ball appeal on that one or something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? What is it? Oh, man, Big Sugar would be super mad at that. Yeah, he might. <laughs> I don't. I don't mind when Big Sugar's mad at anything because he's a pretty angry guy. For how? No, he's just an angry guy and really suggestively is. angry. Yeah. Very suggestively yeah. angry. Kind of a sicko. He tried to spit in my mouth, man. Uh, tried. Yeah, he spit what in my mouth. That? I I puked, I think, a little in my mouth. I puked. After I watched well, it. I heard the crowd. I heard the crowd chanting, "You sick fuck!" Towards him after that. One. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he is a sick fuck. The guy's <laughs> fucked. That's gross. I, held, I hate that. Stuff, I, I held the tag team title somewhere with that guy, and yeah, he's he's pretty fucked. He's Ugh. pretty fucked. <laughs> he seems like, but he idiot. knows it. So. That's what scares me because he uses his evil for more evil. <laughs> Anyways, oh, God. you know what? He's out of the title of picture, so it doesn't matter anymore. Oh, he's a cream moving. <laughs> All right, so uh, one last question from me personally: uh, If there's anybody on the PPW roster who you have not had a chance to go up against, once you win that championship on May 28th, who would you like to have an opportunity to step in that ring with? And I've never faced them before. Never faced them in PPW. How about? Never faced him in P- PWA. Eh? Oh, mm. well, I've heard the MRB. Michael oh, yeah. I've heard, I've heard, I've heard that name before. I've seen him show up in PPW <laughs> a couple times. He tends yeah. to trot himself around as one of the best in the country. Yeah, Michael Allen Richard Clark, who got injured in this tournament. If I wanted, I'd probably feel it's my right. I, I would give Michael Allen Richard Clark the first title shot. Because honestly, it was, I think I think it would have been his tournament had he not got injured. Yeah. So I'll say it right here and right now. Wow. I plan to, if I win the PPW title, Michael Allen Richard Clark will be my first defense. Guaranteed. You heard it here first. We got a Love scoop. It. Yeah, I like scoops. That's perfect. And anyway, I've faced that's... him before, but not in PPW. And I know our fans would love to see that one. Bob Smokes, any last questions from your side? No, I just wanted to wish you guys luck on May 26th at the big show coming up, the big title match. This is going to be a huge moment for PPW, and uh, I think I can speak for everyone. I'm glad that you guys are involved in this because I know the fans will get their money's worth, and uh, really looking forward to the big ladder match. Good luck, you guys. Yeah, I got, yeah, and I second that as well too. June, but, uh, before. <laughs> oh, we got a guest. Hello there. How are you? Yeah. <laughs> oh, all right. Well, we got we got to uh, get going there though, boys. For Thanks sure. For uh, but, but, before we leave though, guys, uh, just quickly before we go, uh, plug your social media so people know where to find you. We're on. Uh... Uh, Facebook, uh, look up Johnny Two Fingers and the Deformities. We're on Instagram. We're on Twitter. Johnny Two Fingers Zero. Johnny Two Fingers Zero. <laughs> all the numbers are numbers. And yeah, go. You can go eat all the pizza you want. Go check out our merch on Johnny Two Fingers dot com. And the numbers and number. Go check it out. There's a lot of stuff that you can get. That they're like decent. Your daughter's getting a knife. And uh, oh, that's good. She, she's got a knife. She's like, a knife. She's got oh no! Knife. She's got a knife. <laughs> music and All right, gentlemen. Have a good night. Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you on May 28th for the big show. Good luck to you guys.